Now this saxophone right now belongs in the percussion section, like we said before. So one of the number one things on any woodwind instrument, actually any any musical instrument, is the proper lubrication. Uh, most people are going to have some kind of a key oil around. So I'm not I'm not assuming you're going to go to you know your little store and pick up woodwind key oil. Uh, you've probably got a bottle of key oil around. You can use ten weight motor oil. Uh, I've seen people use uh, transmission fluid. I don't really like that. It smells bad, but it you know some kind of a lubricant, three in one oil. Uh, at any rate, one thing, don't use it from the bottle. Again, just like your super glue, like your contact cement, you're going to want to put a drop. Well, in this case, a, a major puddle of oil on a some sort of a surface. Uh, you can take a paper clip that you have unwound. You can take a little uh, toothpick, but you'll pick up a drop of this in each place where the end of a key contacts a post. You'll just touch the tip of this on there, and it will it'll pull off. You'll you'll see it there. It'll leave a little drop of oil, and then you'll do one or two more, and then you look back there, and it will have drawn that oil into the into the keys already. At least in this little segment, uh, where I've gone down, just that little bit of lubricant. At least it feels significantly better. It sounds a bit better. I really like to have four, at least four, different thicknesses of oil when I work. I use, you know, a low viscosity or light. Anything that has uh, a really long rod with a lot of keys in it that's really tight. You want to use really thin oil that can really be drawn all the way in there. As a general rule, the medium weight key oil I use for just about everywhere, that's going to be equivalent to whatever came in the little kit when you got your instrument or that your band director has or whatever. Also pretty common to uh, some of your weights of motor oil. Uh, the high viscosity stuff is really quite thick. And, uh, saxophones have two different kinds of screws. They have uh, rods, which are pieces of steel that go through the key, and they have pivot screws. Pivot screws uh, would be like if I had a couple little holes on the end of this with little points allowing this to rotate. Those spots are subject to a lot of wear and tension. They need a lot heavier uh, oil. Just like on your car, your engine oil, your transmission fluid is pretty thick, I mean it's pretty thin, but the wheels have that really heavy grease. And the same thing applies to musical instruments. Those areas that need uh, significant uh, lubrication because of the wear will want to go with a heavier oil. So this stuff here, uh, and you know, as you examine the instrument, if it's a really, really long key, and you can see that it's only got a post on either end, it's a pivot screw. If it's a whole bunch of keys with little gaps in them between a few places, it's a rod. So that will be the thinner oil. The long ones on the end, you'll use the thick oil. Another area on saxophones is a linkage. Uh, often they have uh, a split key, just kind of like a fork with a pin. They operate this way. Uh, if the material that's in them is missing, or loose, or even if it isn't, it tends to be very noisy. That's a spot you're going to need to use that heavier lubrication. Uh, this is a slide oil. Typically, you'll be seeing it for trumpets or something for their slides. But uh, a little, ooh, eh, this is a trombone slide oil. Way, way too thick. Uh, so, and I've got some other stuff here that's very much like a gel. I would put that in there, and it'll take care of this kind of noisiness. Uh, but again, use the right lubrication for the right spot. I've had instruments I've done nothing more than just clean them off. A uh, real great thing to keep in your case is a little cosmetics brush. Keep the dust off. <laughs> keep it oiled. When you're done oiling it, just go around with a pipe cleaner and just touch it on those little places, wipe off the little excess oil. Uh, your instrument will be nice and clean with the proper oiling. Sometimes people tell me like, man, what did you do to my instrument? The only thing I did was oil it. 
Today we've been talking about saxophones, covered a lot of things that should get you out of a lot of jams. Uh, remember that the principles apply to soprano, alto, tenor, berry sax, bass clarinets, contrabass clarinets, anything that's got keys and linkages move up and down, those type of things. The same principles will help you out. If you're interested in finding out more about musical instrument repair, do a Google search on musical instrument repair kits, band instrument repair, those type of things will get you a lot of information. And don't forget, we have extensive educational resources at armyfieldband.com.